looking good naked on steroids. This is going to be one of the first in a series of response videos that I have to get into now that I'm out here doing this stuff more and more for you guys. This is a video by Dylan Jamelli, right? The best steroids for looking good naked. I have to go right into this one. It's short and sweet and it talks about, he talks about all these drugs that I have to go into. Now, a little bit on uh, Dylan Jamelli. Definitely not a hater on this guy. An incredible guy. I did research him. He's obviously on steroids and different peds and he's a young guy, so he's still healthy. And he's in the fitness space, you know. He's acclaimed expert on SARMs. He's an expert on SARMs, even steroids, and he's a coach. He definitely is super impressive as far as like what he's built in the gym world. And now he's trying to grow this YouTube channel and he's using the good old techniques of just putting out stuff that's really, really going to be shocking. So best steroids for looking good naked. I have to respond to this. So let's open it right up. Best steroids for looking good naked. Now understand first, this is a very subjective list, meaning it's my opinion and my criteria of what I think is going to be the best to look good naked. Some of you may disagree with what I believe is the best for that. What I believe is the best for that is something that is going to add lean muscle, but be extremely like hardening at the same time. And when I say hardening, really accentuate your, you know, abdominals and kind of be more vascularity that comes out with a compound like this is going to give you that kind of ability. The striations, we want that in my view. That might not be your view. Um, and to each their own. And this is just what I believe. So, um, I had to leave Prima Bowling off of this list. I, I Putting Halotestin in here for me, I don't like doing it because I don't recommend it being used, but it's got to be in here. It just has to, and I make it, whatever. I'm not going to do all that nonsensical whatever. So, understand, these are some of these are razor thin, and, and I'm going to explain what made me separate them. Three, four, and five are like 3A, 3B, and 3C, but I'm going to explain to you why. So, I put Master on at five, and you might be thinking, what? Here's why. So, right off the bat, the guy's obviously got five steroids, he feels. And these are not, they're, they're not SARMs. That's interesting, right, to me. And they're not peptides. They're old school steroids, super strong. And he's ranking them on the top five. And he's starting at five. He's going with Masteron. And it's interesting. So we're going to break these all down because this is going to be super cool. And of course, you know, the bro science guys, are really what he's looking for and for all the views and I don't think he's a bad guy but right up front my response is you know what's going to happen here so this guy wants to have a huge channel like he does on Instagram right he's got near a million on Instagram he's trying to build this thing up he's only like a hundred thousand or so right now he's trying to get up or maybe under a hundred thousand and he is giving information you know that I think is always so crucial to understand who's going to listen to this. Young men are going to listen to this and they're going to use these drugs. You know, and I did see a video somewhere or I saw a media snippet where he was interviewed. It looked like a respectable interview and he was giving his take on peds and steroids and saying he's worried about guys getting steroids unregulated from where the market you're going to get it from, obviously underground market and not to have doctor supervision. So, the, and then he makes this video. <laughs> so, sir, what are we doing here, sir? I mean, is this a mixed message? I'm the doc, so I'm gonna go into that stuff. So, we're starting off with Masteron here, guys, and we're gonna go up. You're not gonna believe what he has as the second best and number one. Here's why. Because it's not gonna be that way for everybody that uses it. If you're not lean enough, Masteron is not going to do much more for you. It's going to do some, but if you're not lean enough, you're not going to have that, you know, aesthetic that you get from it. And you're better off using a couple of the other ones that I'm going to put ahead of it instead of that. 
for that reason only. If every single person got the same result from Masteron, it would definitely be much higher. But because it's going to be a lot more subjective to the individual, what kind of conditioning they're in and how their diet is, that's why I had to slip it to number five. Remember, these are razor thin. So I had to come up with whatever little thing, and I think that's enough to drop it to five. Because it just doesn't cover enough of the, the people that could potentially be using it. Number four. And, and, and I will explain to you that just because I list these doesn't mean these are to be used by everybody. There's a lot of things that I'll explain when we get to those. Number four, Winstrol. And Winstrol and Anivar are like... So he's going five Masteron, four is going to be Winstrol. And, you know, Masteron, DHT, derived drug. Obviously, we've all talked about that it's a great add-on potentially to testosterone for a lot of reasons, and he's going into the old school stuff here. He obviously knows the standard old school stuff in the streets, you know, that if you're fat and if you're not conditioned well enough, Masteron may not actually work and this and that. It's more of the bodybuilding world, but <clears throat> the guys that I know in the harm reduction stuff really goes with adding some of the DHT derived drugs like Masteron, Proviron, Primabolin, and he actually made a comment somewhere in the video that he's gonna kind of leave Primabolin out of the whole thing. Whatever, you know, so he's going right for Masteron, Winstrol, Anivar is going to be next, you'll see. And <clears throat> he's not talking anything about the harm reduction stuff at all, which it's going to be up to your own self, guys, you know. So, but it's just, it's just so cringy to me that he's obviously on these drugs, right? Even though these guys, a lot of times in interviews, they just keep a mouth shut or they don't want to talk about it or they actually deny it outright, right? I hope this guy's not a fake natty. But to say on one article that, <clears throat> one interview that you are concerned that men are using steroids without doctor supervision, what fucking doctor is supervising this stuff? I don't supervise it. I'm the anabolic doc. I'm a harm reduction guy teaching you guys in, in part today, right? So these are the drugs he's talking about. He's listing them from five up to one, and we're just going to cruise alongside, but I'm going to give my take on it that you know, from the bro science standpoint, he's looking at Masteron. I mean, you're using Masteron by itself. I mean, I'm not going to put this guy into the ground, but it's just like, who's using Masteron alone, right? These, this is an add-on. These are add-on agents. You're, and imagine being, how shut down men are going to be if you use any of these drugs. Now, I know he's his, on his side and his defense, he's going to say, this is just my idea. It was a fun video, he said. So... I guess you can give information to the men in the world that will, may respect you and follow you, and this is fun, uh, but what are we gonna do for these men when they're shut down? Because they're gonna be using these drugs in this order. So, you know, we could kind of speed up through this and just, he's obviously into- So close, and even closer second than with now. So I put Anivar ahead of Winstrol because of two things. One, because the Winstrol side effects are a lot, lot higher and a lot harder to tolerate which can make it potentially a little bit harder to use it for some people. Um, and that's one of the main, main reasons as to why when the side effects are that high, you know, it can be a problem for some. And the, the other reason is because Anivar is a little bit better for fat burning. It's known for that. And because of that, you know, while Winstrol can add more lean muscle, and I love Winstrol for hardening, I think with the benefits of Anivar, coupled with the fact that the side effects are so much lighter and they're this close. And I, I, that's why I went with Anabar ahead of Winstrol. But with Winstrol, the strength is going to be better than it ever gets credit for. The vascularity is insane. And the lean muscle you can get is, is more than Anabar, and it's a good amount. Um, but I, I, I get... That's not even true, guys. So I'm going to chime in here as the anabolic doc, taking care of powerlifters and bodybuilders. These drugs are similar, right? So Winstrol definitely can cause uh, tendon issues. Strongest guys in the world don't, don't like to use too much of it, I could tell you that. Anivar is a super uh, drug for strength and for cutting and everything. So I guess he makes it better on that front. You know, but the side effects of, of Winstrol, and he doesn't go into what type of Winstrol. Is it Winstrol veterinarian, injectable Winstrol? Or is it the oral Winstrol? So, you know, he just he's just moving through right here. He, as he said, he's just having fun, moving up. Wait to hear what he's got in the second place, not to mention first place. 
I, I gave you the reasons. That's why I took Anabar. I had Anabar more mild, excellent for muscle hardening, better for fat loss, not as much lean muscle, but the other things that it does totally make up for that and put it just slightly ahead. So number two is halotestin. I say that like begrudgingly because you know I don't recommend halotestin at all, especially... Here we go, guys. <laughs> number two position, halo test in. All right, this is old school stuff. You guys have to see drop down here where I did a video on halo test in back in the day, a couple years ago, where I break down every single chemical aspect. And I even give you guys anecdotes of patients, boxers in Madison Square Garden and real bodybuilders and, and strength trainers strength guys, right? I mean, guys are training for strength using it because this is an aggressive drug. And, you know, he's not going into this stuff and the side effects. So that's why I'm doing this here. Again, the guy's listing his drugs, all respect for that. And there's going to be a lot of argument. This is bro science argument day. And, but halo test, dude, 17 freaking alpha alkylated oral steroid that now Every guy in the world is going to want to use this, and it's super liver toxic. It's just an, it's an, I've seen, and again, you guys may argue that if you use it safe and do it, of course, it's like, is it any different than Anadrol or Dianabol and all this and that? It was actually manufactured back in the 1950s and 60s in America for TRT and the usual stuff with cachectia, and actually for women uh, with, uh, meta, with menorrhagia, this heavy menstrual bleeding, and also for uh, extensive um, women that have uh, metastatic breast cancer, believe it or not. So it, it could be well tolerated <laughs> in low doses, potentially, but the doses that are going to be used here, when guys use them, I've seen liver injury. I've seen it just on halo test combined with other steroids itself, mainly just testosterone. Again, he's not going into that these are gonna be drugs that are all add-on. Who's using these drugs completely by themselves? Some poor sucker who listens to this guy, maybe over in a foreign country that isn't in America and that really has the broad understanding of the bro science and the broology among all of us. So he's just gonna buy this shit off the internet. Even though he says begrudgingly, He's not recommending it, and he has this face on, but he's making the video, so let's see what he's got to say more about oral uh, halo test in the number two position, no less. For people that aren't super, super, super experienced with a very specific reason to use it, but I, I, I'm not going to do all that. Halo belongs number two because halo is going to make you hard as nails, and because... Halo on its own is not going to get you any lean muscle, but because it gets you so damn strong if you're running it with anything else, you're still going to get so much more lean. So there it is. Now he's finally saying you're going to run it with something else. Well, what are you running it with? Test? Anadrol? I think we're going to see trend coming up here in a minute. But again, it's just, it's just an interesting video, guys, that this is his take on drugs, and i got to chime in because I've made videos and I've... I've seen what these drugs can do, and I know halo testing can make you guys ripped and uh, quite lean. The doses are very interesting, but it's really known in my perspective historically as one of these pre-workout drugs to get you really aggressive, and either for the gym or um, for boxing matches and MMA and stuff, and guys have just been known to use it for that, and that's really, if you look in the internet and some of the other videos, it's actually... Uh, this is the one I talk about with roid rage. Um, and and that for a positive effect to motivate you and get you psyched up and ready to compete. Much more lean size because of that capability alone. And so you shouldn't be running Halo by itself anyway, and it should be at a much lower dose. So Halo's got to go number two. Anybody that's used it or seen anybody use it would know that the, what that can and will do. Uh, <sighs> Halo's number two. Number one is Trend. That is easy. Um, because of what Trend can do all the way around and the way that you can manipulate your diet to make it even better and, and how strong and how lean and how... It, it, listen, I, Trend is the king. We know that. There's no arguing that. We know what it can do. It's easily number one. It is by far the, the best steroid to look good naked. So... We're going to wrap it up here, guys. 
So number one steroid from Dylan Jamelli. I can't believe the YouTube, boy, things have gotten pretty wild back in the day where I thought I'm doing harm reduction videos <laughs> for doctors on YouTube. And I was worried that I was going to have a problem. You know, maybe I won't stick around. YouTube's going to shut me down. And meanwhile, I don't know, guys. I just don't know. Again, I'm just I'm cruising with the times for you guys, and but I'm here to to provide thought and harm reduction. That's why I made the AnabolicDocApp.com for you guys, for men in the world that are going to be taking this advice. It's information. You're going to be taking Halo Test, Masteron, Anavar, Winstraw, and Tren is the king. He says, you know, and. It's just going to be unbelievable. You know, so another thought comes up, looking good naked. So th these drugs will absolutely, depending on who you are and how much you take and all these things, and you're going to look better naked, I guess, if you like muscles, but you're going to have no balls. Your testicles are going to be, so you're naked. Your testicles are going to be completely gone. And I just want you guys to know that because your testicles are going to shut off. And I don't care what PCT you think you do or you don't do during it or on it from guys like this with their information and their advice. We're not seeing him naked. He probably looks pretty good naked. But you know what? His balls are completely off. And fertility is going to be an issue. And, and the, the big picture is, do you young guys know that there's going to be a price to pay? You're going to be on testosterone like me and these guys, I think at least people are coming out open on this for the rest of your damn life, even in 20 something years old. If you think you're going to get around that and run drugs like this, these are dry drugs, right? So these are drugs that are not estrogenic. So it's not rocket science, guys. These are drugs, Masteron, Winstrol, Anavar, Halo Test, and, and Trend. These drugs are all classic steroids that are not highly aromatizable, unlike Dianabol, Anadrol, and like just testosterone, just base of testosterone, right? You can look damn good naked on testosterone, and maybe your cock is going to work better. Because if you do these drugs right here, you're going to have severe erectile dysfunction potentially. Trend dick, right? Trend dick could be a good dick. Remember the dick of two cities? <laughs> the tale of two cities. It's a good dick and it's a bad dick. So again, these are just a list of drugs this guy pumped out that are dry anabolic steroids. Dylan, thank you so much for, for letting me do this response video on you, brother. No hate. Um, we're just all working together on this because I'm just in this game together to give a pushback for you men to understand that this stuff is is moving very, very fast. And you're here, uh, you're gonna make your own decisions for yourself. This is how the, the world's gonna go, but I want you guys to make the proper decision. And if you're young, don't go near any of this, not number five, up to number one, thinking about looking good naked, it's gonna end to doing more steroids and you're gonna be on testosterone for the rest of your life like me and it, it is what it is and it's just a, it's a decision that i want you guys to make individually so thank you so much guys for staying with me on this response video all the way to the end um let's get some comments as the comments that the men see that we have in this channel are equally as important actually more important than my words itself because you're getting a perspective from so many men that's open uh true and honest and there's no censoring Thank you so much, guys. This is what you get with the Anabolic Doc app. Number one, a digital history and physical exam, where I bring you through digitally all the important medical issues that you need to understand one by one. Number two, weekly Zoom meetings with me. They're group meetings where men come from all over the world to ask questions, and I answer the question, everyone listens and learns. Number three, discounted commercial labs the actual lab panels that I order for my patients, discounted only through the app, you have access to these labs all over America. Number four, weekly member only uncensored videos. This is really cool content that I can't make 
on YouTube or Instagram. There's a lot of circumstances. I'm talking about protective medications like blood pressure, cardiac medications, and I can't mention brand names. Here, I mention everything fully uncensored so you know exactly what to do. Number five, Anabolic Docs Mailbag. You can't come to the meetings or you don't want to come to the meetings, you ask a question, I am going respond to your question by making a video, put it back up on the app and you get to see your own question by me as a video. Lastly, Diagnostic and Management Library that is easily searchable by keywords. I've put all this together for you guys for $19.99 per month. Come to one man-to-man -man meeting. Let me answer your question. Look at the videos. Do a mailbag. Order some labs for super cheap. Really get into your health. Guys, I've done this for you to scale what I'm doing for men to protect you on androgens. Give me a chance.